Now for more analysis on the situation in Egypt, we're joined live from our Cairo studios by Gamal Nkrumah, the head of the international department at Ahram Weekly Paper in Egypt. Welcome to Africa Live. Now, we've seen clashes between the police and former President Morsi's uh, supporters. And as we saw in that story earlier, we've also seen incidents across at least three cities in Egypt. Does this signify more security concerns for the country ahead of the January 25th unrest anniversary? Well, I think that uh, the main uh, violence is not just between the police and uh, supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood. I think the uh, problem uh, in many parts of the city is that once news of this, um, uh, the attacks on uh, the police station, the attacks on the various, uh, we had, ha we, as, as your report indicated, there were three different attacks today, Friday. And I think the general population uh, is feeling very uh, angry. And uh, a lot of, in a lot of areas, the mobs just set on people they suspect are sympathizers of the Muslim Brotherhood. So it's not just the police that is clamping down on supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood. It's also, it's also the neighborhood vigilante groups, if you like. Uh, these um, young people are very angry, and uh, tomorrow, the third anniversary of the 25th of January revolution, I think they're going to plan uh, nationwide uh, demonstrations in support uh, of the, uh, pro the political process, uh, uh, ongoing political process, uh, for, uh, the referendum, and then the presidential and parliamentary votes later. Now, Mr. Nkrumah, we've seen that uh, the extremist group Ansar Beit al Magdis has claimed responsibility for today's attacks. However, we still see violence against uh, members of the Muslim Brotherhood. They're still being blamed for what's happened. Why is that the case? Um, I personally believe, as I said, it's more popular anger uh, and uh, with some uh, police uh, direction uh, but uh, the main um, the, ma the main stimulus for the violence is the popular vigilante groups uh, that have sprung up in various parts of Cairo and the country and this is problematic because anybody associated or, or being seen as associated with a Muslim Brotherhood or, or its political allies uh, is uh, stigmatized and in certain instances um, is attacked physically. Uh, so this is a problem that we are going to see, but there is also a question um, of uh, some of the population, the Egyptian population, are feeling that the authorities are not tough enough on the Muslim Brotherhood supporters, that they should be even, uh, in spite of the Amnesty International report that just came out, saying that br police brutality has increased. In fact, uh, I would say that all the indications are that uh, the Egyptian population wants uh, the police and the government and authorities to be uh, harsher with the Muslim Brotherhood sympathizers. Okay. All right, Mr. Nkrumah, and we'll I have think to... this is a new phenomenon. It's a new development. All right, Mr. Nkrumah, thanks so much for your time this evening. We'll have to leave it there for the moment. We're speaking to Gamal Nkrumah, the uh, head of the International Department at Ahram Weekly Paper in Egypt.